Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me uh, wanting to know how they could do something like this and get the circles just touching, but not overlapping and equally at 120 degrees and 60 degrees around the circle. This is really easy. Just draw any size circle. I made my, my ellipse three inches, but then I've also changed my nudge distance to three inches. I like drawing in the center of the page, so I hit P and put it in the center of the page. And there's a reason for that. You'll find out in just a second. Control D and make a duplicate and then nudge it up. Click off of it and Control D again, because if you don't click off of it, it's going to put it three inches above. Double click on it and then move your rotation. And this is why I like drawing in the center. That doesn't look like it's in the center because it's not. But it is as far as Corel will put it in the center for you. Then you'll just rotate that 60 degrees. Control D. A lot of times Corel will do that. You have to go 120. And then you can go Control D around. These circles are touching, but not overlapping. They're perfectly fit. Matter of fact, they will not, well, they won't leak because they're circles. But we can do the Smart Fill tool and actually fill in these spots. And you can see that they're close enough where they're not going to leak. So that's how that's done. And you can weld them together. Doesn't really matter. It actually shows you on that weld that, um, well, maybe I shouldn't have welded them together. I think if the weld had something to do with the black. So let's do that again and select them all this time and weld them. And that's what it was. It was the black that was interfering. And then once they're welded together, you can just click on them and fill them with, in with black. And then so left click, right click, and take away the hairline. If that's what you're trying to do. This is uh, 60 degrees. These are 120 degrees. And you can do it with any size circle. Any size will do the same thing because you're working off. Let's do six inches just to kind of prove the point. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. But then change your nudge distance to six inches. Control D and make a duplicate and move it up. Now, if I hit Control D now, it's going to move it up one more time. So you have to click off that to Control D. Double click on it and move your rotation to the center. There again, it doesn't look like the center, but if you click off, it actually is. And we'll rotate this one 120 degrees and then duplicate 100, 240 degrees. And there you have equal ellipses, circles. He called them dots. And I'm hoping this is exactly what he was wanting. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.